Hi, my name is Tom Quaid. I am the immediate past president of the American Public Health Association, APHA, one of the longest uh, running uh, professional public health associations in the world. People who live with developmental or intellectual disabilities, uh, some of them are fantastic advocates for themselves, but by and large, it's a, a population that we need to take that active role and reach out and make sure that we're being deliberate in our inclusion. Oftentimes, even if we look at disabilities in general, sometimes we'll think about uh, visual impairment or hearing impairment or mobility impairment, but we don't often think of intellectual disabilities. We've really taken on uh, three or four uh, different challenges with this. One of the things that I've been most involved with with APHA in this process, uh, because I'm a local health officer, is that I've uh, put together a survey and we were hoping to get about a hundred local, state, and territorial health departments to respond to the survey that said, to what degree when you engage in community health assessment, to what degree are you intentional about your inclusion of people who live with intellectual or developmental disabilities? And then finally, to what degree do we involve folks with intellectual or developmental disabilities in the evaluation of those programs? Because this isn't just a, let's make sure we're serving, it's let's make sure we're incorporating, that we're including uh, po all populations in our communities. So that, that survey where we were hoping to get about 100 participants, we ended up with over 300 participants. About half uh, say that they, they do include them in their community health assessments and programming, but it's sort of accidental. And while that's better than nothing, that's not really what we're about when we talk about public health being intentional. Uh, when we talk about health equity, we're talking about removing barriers that stand between a population and their opportunity to be healthy, and that's an active process. When we do population health, that's the whole population. That's not just 95% of the population or 90% of the population, that's 100% of the population. If our intent is to not be discriminating in any way, the only way to actually put that into practice is to be passionate about it and to pay attention to the fact that to not be discriminating means to be actively inclusive. And it does enrich the work we do, whatever that work is. One of the things that I've learned in doing this at the local level is that being able to partner those, those unusual partners and to be able to access that information and then to engage the population itself that live with intellectual or developmental disabilities because they bring a, a wealth of new ideas, of innovative ideas, uh, if we can just sort of step back, shut up, listen, and then, and then start working together. It's thinking beyond our own agenda and our own assumption that we're the experts. If we're uh, to, to move forward as a society, if, you're, if your enterprise is to be successful, you need to make sure that you're taking advantage and embracing every, every sort of facet of human existence.